Here at EMIAP, we come across things that are really, really unusual. And here I have something that is a true rarity. It's one of the first, what we would call, groove boxes. That is a machine that combines a drum, <clears throat> a drum synthesizer with a bass line with the ability to make your own chords. Uh, normally, uh, this, this instrument here, the uh, Elgam Carousel, was put out by the Italian company El Elgam in the mid-70s, around 75, 76. It was sold for a few years in the 70s. You would typically play this, you would typically play this with your left hand and uh, use it as an accompaniment to an organ. Now, some of the things I like, uh, I have it set up so I have a rhythm that I'm just going to use to chop up a, uh, a four-voice chord. This, did, this was four voice polyphonic, so say if we start with a little progression. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a bass line. Now I'm gating this with my fingers. In other words, uh, I can put a latch on it. And here this will now persist when I lift my hand. tempo over here. That's some percussion.
and see you can get lost and captivated in it. But really the skill is to take an instrument like this, the early groove box synthesizer, and use your left hand to make an accompaniment while you play, right hand might play either a synth or an organ. That was the original intent of this. So switching over to my left hand. is really great and uh, all these sounds are very very early sound as I said this is really the first commercial beatbox uh, this is a whole genre of synths there's many many good ones out today but there's something to be said something historic about playing the very first <laughs> 